nearly 70% of heart diseases presents with shortness of breath also. When the heart function comes down, the, when the pumping capacity or horsepower of the heart comes down, there is a back pressure from the heart into the lungs and there is accumulation of some fluid in the lung causing shortness of breath. In absence of fever, in absence of sputum production, if a person has got shortness of breath or a breathing difficulty, it is equally important to assume that there could be some problem in the heart and such patient should undergo a comprehensive heart checkup. If it's a bronchial asthma or allergic asthma, uh, when they are exposed to some specific allergens, they have cough, wheezing, so it is seasonal. During a particular season, they have this cough, rest of the uh, season, they are absolutely fine. Suppose if it is connected with the heart, irrespective of the season, they continue to have breathing difficulty and shortness of breath. 15 to 20 percent, when they develop heart attack, they present with breathlessness and breathing difficulty. Absolutely fine on walking or on climbing stairs, then all of a sudden, uh, if they have shortness of breath on walking or climbing stairs, particularly on walking uphill after food intake, then again it points to a cardiac problem only. Because uh, as they walk, the heart requires more energy and more oxygen. So this is how gradually if their physical activity or their functional capacity is coming down, now they can able to climb only two flights of stairs and they become breathless, then again it points to a cardiac problem or it could be respiratory also, but more often it is a cardiac problem. So this is where gradually if there is a decline in their uh, walking distance or uh, time to onset of symptoms or I mean uh, ischemic heart disease or a heart related problem or some valve problem, when they go to the bed, after few hours of sleep, then they start coughing, then they feel comfortable sitting up. So this is also another important symptom of uh, heart uh, symptom. Nearly uh, 15 to 20 percent of patients, when they develop a heart attack, they may not experience severe pain in the left side of the chest at all. Uh, but uh, these patients can have a burning sensation in the uh, lower part of the chest or in the stomach region along with this burning sensation or pain in the stomach region they can also have vomiting and sweating and it is uh, easily mistaken for acidity and gastritis so any patient who is uh, who is getting symptoms of burning sensation in the chest or in the stomach region on walking or on climbing definitely it is a symptom connected with the heart and if somebody has got a burning sensation or a pain in the chest at rest on walking is absolutely comfortable then it's not from the heart they can get pain in the throat or i mean before developing an heart attack they say doctor i am getting pain in the jaws i am getting pain in the shoulders or in the throat or in the upper back and it comes only on walking on only climbing stairs that too after taking food and it is promptly relieved by rest. So any discomfort in the chest or in the throat or in the jaw increases on walking and decreases promptly or disappears by rest, again restarts when you start walking, it is from the heart. Patient who is having long standing high blood pressure or patient who is having uh, undergone an angioplasty attack. So if such patients a uh, complaint of breathlessness, it is very important that they should undergo a cardiac evaluation in form of a consultation, then an ECG and echocardiography. See, echocardiography will tell us whether this breathlessness is due to a respiratory problem or whether this breathlessness is due to a cardiac problem. Uh, don't ignore shortness of breath, very important and particularly if it is distressing breathlessness and uh, you, you, that means you are not comfortable some people come and say uh, off late I am not comfortable walking uh, I am not comfortable while climbing don't ignore undergo a cardiac evaluation 
and uh, if everything is normal then you will be the happiest man